After four years of waiting, I was finally on my journey back to the dark continent. I would be hunting in Namibia, this time with Dries Fisher Safari on the Ettrick Concession in the eastern part of the country. And after two days of travel, I knew this was going to be a great adventure. Dries Fisher camp in Namibia. We are in, a, I'm in my chalet, our little lodge here, and uh, made a safe trip. I uh, didn't have any hiccups. All the luggage got here just like it needed to. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, Friday, July the 6th, and uh, we'll do a little walk through and kind of look at the, the whole area. We saw several several game animals coming into the camp uh, four or five gems buck on the on the road and several within the within the place itself but you can see that this is our double chalets right here and uh, we have a water hole just over in that direction right there and uh, the barbecue or the brain. It's just right here over this little fence. A nice dining area where all the clients can come and catch the breeze and shoot the breeze. Got a nice little swimming pool right out here. And it's just a just a beautiful place. I think Adele, she's working on lunch going to have a light lunch before we go out and make a game drive. So uh, all in all, looks really good. Welcome to Etrick, Dries Fisher Safari's Namibia. We're going to have a short game drive and we'll show you how the farm looks like. The blinds look like you can get a feel of touch what is going on. They will get a carpet in there, cheese. Nice. Huh? Very nice. Oh, you had already the carpets in? Ah, oh, Samsung. Look at the cake.
All right, it's Sunday morning, second day of the hunt, and we had a kind of had a rough go with the warthog yesterday. Shot after we watched it on video, hit just in front of the shoulder, and should have waited, but that's in the past, and we won't discuss that anymore. This morning it was pretty cloudy, and uh, it's the clouds are burning off, and the wind's pretty brisk. It's about 38 degrees. And game plan is we're headed back to the Kudu blind, which should be aptly named the uh, Gimsbuck blind, and see if we can get some of those Gimsbuck to come in and uh, stay stay in for just a little bit longer so we can get a shot. So I'm going to warm up a few arrows here at the practice range, and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. shooter gamsbuck come into the water just before lunchtime and uh, looked like we were going to get a shot and as he stepped up to the water and I ready to draw back something wasn't right and he just stepped away just as quickly as he approached so that was a lost opportunity but I knew that being day two I would have plenty more opportunities as the hunt progressed fast as one door closes, another one opens. We looked up and saw a nice red hartebeest come into the water. This was the animal that Lila had wanted to take on her trip. And since she didn't get to go, I was going to make sure I got her red hartebeest. So as he quietly came in, I readied for the shot.
Okay, this is, we shot the Heart of Beast last night. He didn't travel 30 yards to the air, unlike the hogs. So we're going to do a quick recovery. We'll try to stay kind of quiet. I'll show you that. Complete pass through. Super. Third day of our Namibian hunt with Dries Visser Safari and Ingo, my my guide, PH. Uh, we did a heck of a job. We've been passing on a lot of game, looking for specific animals. And this morning, one of those animals came in. Nice red heart of beast. Lila told me before I left Texas, you make sure you get me a heart of beast since I don't get to go. So had to take care of that right off the bat. We got Lila's heart of beast out of the way. Now we're on to Gemsbuck and other games. So having a great time here. The distance was about 17 yards and he traveled about 40 yards with a 100 grain Montec broadhead and PSC bow. Having a great time over here and we're going back to the stand now. So we'll catch you later. Excellent shot and congratulations. Thank you, sir.